the plasmas are cohering to patterns of energy. It would ordinarily be invisible, but under the certain circumstances, if you bring in two vibrating systems and they're in resonance, you can have this effect at a distance, which seems to be one of the most interesting phenomena associated with that. And I think the, the idea is a lot of this stuff are more of just like to understand the concepts and imagine what could be. You know, it's like, okay, so now I realize uh -huh. we, we have this self-organizing property that happened. And then to your point, you're saying, well, when we're dealing with these plasmoids, it's self-organization that we're seeing. So how do we explain that? Well, we look at cymatics and we see self-organization happen at specific frequencies. We just use, you know, general physics and waves and we go, oh, standing waves could be what we would need for that as well. And the question people should be asking is, if I have a plasma, and a plasma is just an amorphous blob like a gas. If I were to separate positive and negative charges, what would I think should happen? They should come back together. They should equalize. And if it's just a gas, then theoretically nothing should be stopping that from happening. Like that should just happen very quickly. But that's where Ken's shoulders comes into play. 